This is Duke University. We are in China. We're here as part of an undergraduate research course. We're trying to bring our know-how here and give the next generation of scientists and engineers like ourselves the know-how to go and solve the environmental problems worldwide. My name is Mike Bergen, and I'm a professor of civil and environmental engineering at Duke. We're here as part of an undergraduate research course. We are at Duke Kunshan University. We're here conducting research into air and water pollution. I'm going to stick the thermometer in here. It's important to do this kind of research because as environmental engineers and people who are interested in a way preserving the world, China, as one of the leading economies, has like one of the largest impacts on the entire globe. What's really important is to come here and to have interactions amongst the students from Duke and the Chinese students just to have a cultural exchange and to better understand one another. The students have three projects. The first project is face masks and looking at whether face masks have any impact on your lung health. So they're wearing face masks going on a 30 minute walk um, and then seeing whether their exhaled nitric oxide levels are any different. We're learning the processes and necessities of what an engineer is. I knew that coming to Duke I would have opportunities like this. I just didn't know that they would come so soon. Another project is just kind of understanding the indoor and outdoor air pollution here. So right now we're just setting up the GoPro to record an image of the skyline, which we're going to analyze for haziness and try and determine particulate matter concentration from that and compare it to the values we get from the actual sensor. Duke is really a school of opportunities. The biggest takeaway for me is just knowing that the opportunities are out there and so it's very easy to create the future that you want to have, you just have to work. And then the last group is looking at water quality in both the drinking water and the surface water on Kunshan's campus and in the surrounding area. We sampled at the ecological park yesterday and there was just so much beauty in like the gardens that we walked around. I learned I really like leading. <laughs> Having that kind of opportunity to take such a big leadership role was not something I had anticipated starting out the semester. It is great that students uh, as young as freshmen get these leadership roles. I think that it shows how much dedication Duke has to its undergraduate students. It's really amazing, honestly, because in class you don't get this hands-on application of what we're learning. You get much more excited about learning things and book work when, when you know how it's going to be used. I think the relationship between Duke Kunshan and Duke is a great resource, that there's a lot of people on the ground here. China is a super interesting place, and so having a little bit uh, safe of a place to come where you can um, talk with people before you get here, come here, um, meet with people who are experts on China, but who also speak English, so there's not the language barrier. I think Duke Kunshan is an excellent place to do research for, for many reasons. Of course, one is China has been growing so fast. It's really important to have connections with local scientists and engineers and, and researchers, and that's been a real difficult part of a lot of us doing international research. So here we have that. It's real natural, and they're very much tied into the region and the country, and this has helped us greatly. I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity to come and be a part of it. The food is just absolutely delicious. Of course, the tea, too, is <laughs> high quality. Shanghai was amazing and absolutely blew my mind. It's been really fun having people to like get to know and befriend on this trip. You can see beaches anytime, but visiting a whole other continent can't do that often. I don't recall any moment of this trip that I am not incredibly thankful for.